the North remembers. We know no king, but the king in the North whose name is Stark. I don't care if he's a bastard. Ned Stark's blood runs through his veins. He's my king from this day until his last day. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones Season 8 update video. There are some new and very interesting developments coming out of Belfast, Northern Ireland this week. As I'm sure most of you know by now, Game of Thrones filming for their A season has been well underway for several months, and things are just starting to heat up at their King's Landing set. They spent roughly 55 nights shooting what could be the Great War for the final season of Game of Thrones, but now they had shifted their sights onto the brand new set they had built in Belfast, which will be King's Landing. It appears as if most of, if not all of the entire cast and crew have moved to this location, but something very interesting happened on Instagram the other day, and this could reveal something very important in terms of the endgame. Actor Will Scolding posted this photo of himself on his Instagram account, and if you look at the sign just above the doors, you can see that he's standing in front of a hotel that is located in Belfast. In case you don't know, Belfast is basically the headquarters for Game of Thrones. Titanic Studios is there, which is what they use to film almost all of their scenes indoors. For those of you who don't recognize this actor, I guess I should tell you exactly who he is because he doesn't look exactly the same way as he did when he appeared in the show. This man was none other than Rhaegar Targaryen. He played Rhaegar during Bran's flashback when he saw Rhaegar and Lyanna getting married. The actor has since deleted the photo from his account, which means he now realizes he does have something to hide. Because of course, once he posted this, it started to create a buzz on Twitter, and now YouTube. I guess old Wilf here didn't realize that almost every Game of Thrones fan is an amateur detective, and you can't post things like this online without people investigating. It's probably not a coincidence that he has arrived in Belfast right at the same time that most of the Game of Thrones production has moved to this location as well. So, what does this mean for Season 8? Well, I am hoping this means we will get more flashbacks from Bran that involve Rhaegar Targaryen, who is one of the most important characters in this story, although he doesn't even appear that much. Now we have to ask ourselves, if Rhaegar is appearing again, what purpose could he possibly serve at this point in the story? What could Bran see that involves Rhaegar that would help move the story forward? For years, one of the most popular theories was that Bran would see a flashback of the battle at the Trident. This is the famous location where Robert Baratheon and Rhaegar Targaryen fought till the death. While Lyanna was at the Tower of Joy, Rhaegar was on the battlefield preparing to face off with Robert Baratheon, who Lyanna was betrothed to. With his warhammer in hand, Robert Baratheon slammed it into Rhaegar's chest, which sent all of the red rubies from his armor flying into the river. This blow to the chest was devastating, and as Rhaegar lay dying, he whispered a woman's name, which I believe was Lyanna's. I wasn't sure if they would ever give us this flashback, but I know most of us would love to see this. The reason why I'm mentioning this now is because of what the plot leak actually said. I don't know how many of you listened to me read the plot leak a few weeks ago, but in that leak it says Bran has a series of visions, and all of the visions related to Rhaegar, Lyanna, and most importantly, Jon Snow. Bran went out to the Weirwood Tree with Tyrion, Sam, and the Maester to see if he could find any information on Azor Ahai, the last hero, or the prince who was promised, and all of the visions he had pointed to Jon Snow. The leak says Bran has a flashback of the Trident, but it doesn't show Robert and Rhaegar fighting. It showed a man laying face down in the water, which was supposed to be Rhaegar. Then it showed a black silhouette standing in front of the Night King, right as they were about to face off. It also said Bran had another flashback of the Tower of Joy, but this time Lyanna was sitting up in the bed, and she was accompanied by Rhaegar Targaryen and Rhaegar was telling Lyanna that their son would be the Song of Ice and Fire. Now obviously I don't know how much of this plot leak is true, but I find it very interesting that the actor who plays Rhaegar is now in Belfast, which means he could be there to film more scenes, and maybe, just maybe, this leak could have gotten some things right. I don't want to go too far down that rabbit hole just yet, but I think this just adds more evidence to it possibly being true. I do have an idea, but I'm not exactly sure how they could pull this off. I'm wondering if Bran can somehow show Jon the truth about his parents. As we all know, Jon is on his way to Winterfell and he still has no idea who his parents actually are. Bran and Sam know the truth, but how will they get Jon to believe them? Jon could be in denial, 
although I think John does trust Sam, and John definitely loves his brother Bran, even if he is a completely different person than the one he last saw. Now, I know this idea is going to be very tinfoily, but I think it would be interesting if Bran could take John into the Weirwood Net and show him a flashback of Rhaegar and Lyanna. It would be really cool if Bran could put one hand on the tree, then one hand on John, and show him some things that way. Or you know what? Now that Bran is the Three-Eyed Raven, he should be able to send people dreams, just like the old Three-Eyed Raven did to Bran, and possibly many other characters in the books. Bran should have the power to do this too. I'm actually in the process of making a video about Bran, Jojen, Blood Raven, the Night King, and the Chosen of the Forest, so I won't say too much about it in this video. But I think Bran may be able to show Jon something, somehow. But let's open up the discussion in the comment section. What do you think about this actor showing up in Belfast? Do you think we will see Rhaegar Targaryen again? And if we do, what kind of scene do you think it will be? Put all your comments or theories down below because I would love to hear them. I want to thank everyone for stopping by to check out this quick update video. I really appreciate that. I also want to thank all of my Patreon supporters. I hope you have a great day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.